I'm going to show you how to make this cardigan. First, we're going to calculate the width of our front and back panels. Please don't be intimidated, the math is very easy and I'll guide you through. We're going to start by taking our bust measurement. So I am about 33 inches, but I don't want it to be so tight, so I'm going to add an extra inch. So that brings me to 34 inches. Okay, what we're going to do with that measurement is once we have our bus measurement, we're going to divide it by two. So for me, that's 34 inches divided by two, which gives me 17 inches. So now I know that my back panel will have to be 17 inches wide, okay? Then we're gonna take that 17 inches and divide it by two to get 8.5 inches. So this is supposed to be the, the width of my front panels but I want the cardigan to be more open in the middle. So I'm going to minus 1.5 inches from, from that. So 8.5 minus 1.5 gives me seven inches. So now I know that each of my front panels will be seven inches wide. So I hope this like diagram kind of helps you understand um, how it's calculated. Let's start with the ribbing for the back panel. So I want the height of my ribbing to be 1.5 inches tall. So for me, that is um, eight inches. And by the way, I'm using the 4.5 millimeter hook to do this. I'm going to use a um, single crochet in the back loop only to make this ribbing. So I'm going to continue doing this ribbing pattern until it reaches 17 inches long. I've made a total of 67 rows to reach 17 inches. So now we're going to make a, one single crochet in each row along the edge. So first chain one and make a single crochet in each row. So you should have a total of 67 single crochets because I made 67 rows. After you've made your single crochets, we're going to switch out our hook to the 5.5 millimeter hook. At this point, you also want to change out to your second color. So now we're going to chain two, turn our work and make one double crochet in each stitch all the way along. So what we're going to do is repeat this row, continue making rows and rows of double crochet for the remaining back panel. Okay, I finished my back panel. What you wanna do is you can just lie it against your body like this and see where it ends and you just continue making rows of double crochet until you reach your desired length. Um, for my blue and gray cropped cardigan I did a total of 24 rows or 13 and a half inches and for this one I'm making it a little bit longer so I've done 29 rows or 15 and a half inches. Also, by the way, um, I'm doing, for this like striped pattern, I'm doing five rows of the white and three rows of the pink, and I just alternate between the two. Of course, you can just do this in one solid color as well. Okay, so now let's do the front panel. We're gonna start with a ribbing, the same ribbing we did for the back panel. So for me, that was eight chains, and I'm gonna do single crochet in the back loop only. You also want to remember to use your 4.5 millimeter hook to do the ribbing. Okay, so I've made my front panel ribbing. It measures about seven inches. So now we're going to do the same. We're going to place one single crochet in each row along the edge here. So chain one and make one single crochet all the way. Once you've done that, just like the back panel, we're going to switch to our next color and also switch to our 5.5 millimeter hook. So from here, you're going to chain two, turn your work and work one double crochet in each stitch all the way to the end, just like how we did with the back panel. Now we're going to continue making double crochet rows until we reach the same number of rows that we did for our back panel. So for my back panel, I did 29 rows and I'm gonna make sure that I get 29 rows of double crochet for my front panel as well. Okay, so I'm done crocheting my 29 rows for my back panel. Now, 
we also have to make sure to leave room for our shoulder. So I've drawn these extra boxes here. This is going to make room for our shoulders. And here you can see in the back panel, I've left a little bit of space in between the shoulders to make room for our neck. Now, you, universally, um, you should be able to leave around three inches for the shoulder part. So you're gonna take your tape measure and you're gonna measure how many rows it takes to reach three inches. So for me, that's one, two, three, four, five, six rows. So that means three, uh, six rows for me will equal three inches, right? But because we are dividing those three inches between the front and back panels, we're gonna divide it by two. So three divided by two is 1.5. So that means for each of the panels, we're going to crochet an extra 1.5 inches and see how we measured uh, how many rows it took to reach three inches. It was six for me. So since we're dividing it by two, that means I'm going to have to crochet an extra three rows for the front panel. So I finished crocheting the extra three rows. Now we can chain one and cut our yarn. So now you're going to want to make another front panel exactly the same as you did this first one. Now that we've finished all of our panels, we're going to add our extra three rows to our back panel to make room for the shoulder. So what I'm going to do is take my front panel, this is my front panel, and I'm gonna count how many stitches I have across the top here. For me, I have 33 stitches. So that means I'm going to join my yarn at the edge of my back panel here and make chain two and then make one double crochet in each stitch for the next 33 stitches. Okay, so I've made 33 double crochets here. Now I'm going to chain two and turn my work and continue making double crochets all the way along until I have three rows. Okay, so I've done my three rows. Now we're going to be sewing the two panels together. So you wanna take one of your front panels here. Okay, and we're just gonna turn our work here. And I'm going to chain one. And then we're going to go into the first stitch of both panels like this and do a slip stitch join. And we're going to continue doing this all the way down to connect the back and front panel. Once you have made your way, it should look something like this, and you can chain one and cut off your yarn. This is what you should have so far, so we've connected one of the panels together. Now what you're going to do is the same exact thing but on the other side. So I'm going to attach my yarn here and make three extra rows. Make sure to stop at the 33rd stitch to leave space for the neck here. So once you make your three rows, you can slip stitch together the front and back panel on this side. Okay, so this is what you should have now. You should have sewn up the shoulder parts together. So now we're going to sew up the sides to create an armhole. What you're gonna do is take out your tape measure and measure about seven inches from the shoulder part and put a stitch marker where it reaches seven inches. So for me, this is 15 rows. I've added my yarn to the bottom corner here and we're going to make a chain one and single crochet both panels together. This is how I'm going to be joining the two panels together and sewing up the sides. So you're going to with your 4.5 crochet hook, do the ribbing joining up until here. Then when you reach here, you're gonna change to your 5.5 hook and then make the same single crochet join all the way until you reach the stitch marker. When you reach the double crochet rows, you're gonna to wanna to put two single crochets in each double crochet row. So let me show you here. I, will, I like to go into the chain here and then in the back as well. So that is my first single crochet of that row. I'm gonna go again in that same row. So I've reached my stitch marker. Now what I'm going to do is make two double crochets in each double crochet row 
all the way around to create the first row of our sleeves. Okay, so let me just take out my stitch marker. We're going to start by double crocheting. I'm going to make, again, two double crochets in each double crochet row. You can choose to put a stitch marker in the first double crochet you made. That's why it's easier when you come back to join. So I've made my first row for the sleeves and here I'm at the beginning. So I'm going to take out my stitch marker and we're going to slip stitch into that stitch that the stitch marker was in like this. And then after every round, I'm going to turn my work so that the seam remains straight. And I'm going to chain two and make a double crochet in that very first stitch. So now this will count as row two of our sleeves. Now in row two, I'm going to place two decreasing stitches. So I'm gonna do a double crochet two together. I'm gonna to place one here. This is how I do my decreasing stitches. Okay. And then I'm gonna continue with normal double crochets. And I think I'm gonna place another one around here. It doesn't matter where you place your two decreasing stitches. You just need to make sure that they're not next to each other. So here I'm closing up round two and I'm about to start round three of our sleeves. So for round three onwards, we're going to continue making normal double crochets in the round. No increases, no decreases until I have a total of 29 rows for the sleeves and that includes these first two stitches. Okay, so I've done my 29th row which measures about 14 inches, starting from the first row here. So I'm going to close up my 29th row and we're going to start decreasing in the 30th row. So you're going to chain two, turn your work. So for row 30, we're going to make a decrease in every sixth stitch. So you have one, Two, we have five stitches here and on this sixth stitch we're going to do a double crochet two together like that and then we're gonna continue that pattern for the whole row so you're gonna make five stitches and then on the sixth stitch you're gonna do a decrease and you're gonna continue now for row 31 I'm going to make a decrease in every fifth stitch you can see here that I've made one, two, three, four normal stitches, and then I have this decreasing stitch here. So you're going to continue making four stitches, and then every fifth stitch you're going to make a decrease. For row 32, I'm going to make a decrease in every fourth stitch. So I'm going to make three double crochets, and then I'm going to make a decrease. Okay, so when you're finished with row 32, that's when the majority of my sleeve is done. All that's left to do is the cuff. So I'm going to measure this. This is about 16 inches long. The sleeve itself is 16 inches long. And then we're going to make about one inch and a half of cuff here. Now for our last um, row, we're going to move on to the cuff. I'm going to do a single crochet in the back loop only, the same as we did for the ribbing. So I've chained 9 in total, and I've switched to my 4.5mm hook, and I'm going to make single crochet in the back loop only. Once I've made my single crochets, and I have to slip stitch it into the base, I'm going to slip stitch once, slip stitch twice. And then we're gonna turn our work, skip these first two um, slip stitches and make single crochet in the back loop only from the third stitch. And you just continue making it. 
so I've made it to the base again. Now this time I'm going to skip a stitch. So instead of going into this stitch to slip stitch, I'm going to go into the next one. And then again I'm going to skip this one and go into the next one to slip stitch. And basically we're going to continue this pattern all the way around the cuff. You can, as you go, you can sort of try it on and see how it fits. If it's a bit too loose, you can increase the number of rows where you um, skip stitches. And if it's a bit too tight, you can choose to do more of the normal slip stitching. So when you're done, you can just go ahead and stitch it up so you can close the cuff. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I've finished one side, so I've made the sleeve. And now all you have to do is do the exact same thing that you did to make this sleeve, but on the other side. Now we're going to make a slip stitch border all around the neckline. So I have joined my yarn here at the end. Make sure your work is facing the right way. And I'm going to switch to my 4.5 millimeter hook just for this ribbing area. So what I'm going to do is just slip stitch my way around. Okay, so I'm going to chain one. And slip stitch. Once I have reached the double crochet rows, I'm going to switch to my 5.5 millimeter hook and I'm going to make a slip stitch, two slip stitches in each double crochet row. So here I'm going to make one. And that was one slip stitch for this row. I'm going to make another one for this row. And then we're just going to continue doing that all the way around. And when you come to the end here, you're going to switch to your 4.5 millimeter hook to do the slip stitch for the ribbing. Thank you.